Manuel A. Rojas is the fifth president of the Philippines and known to people as the president who started the Third Republic of the Philippines, having his term only last for two years due to his death in 1948. What exactly can we say about President Rojas? Well, in this video, we are going to review Manuel A. Rojas' achievements, personal life, and, of course, presidency in this video that I would like to entitle as To start off our study in President Rojas' life, we must first look at his life before he was even elected as president. In a place formerly known as Capiz, in the new year of 1892, the subject of this video was born. From there, he will grow up to marry his fiance Trinidad de Leon Rojas in 1921 and have two kids named Ruby and Jerry. However, politics is the name of this video, and talking about family would be unnecessary. His political career before his presidency was not something to laugh about. He was a member of the Municipal Council of Capiz in 1917 and also became the youngest governor to ever serve the province that he had resided on. His name in the world of politics will only skyrocket from there once he became a member of the House of Representatives and, later, became the Senate of 1941. However, due to World War II, specifically a part of it known as Japan, he was not able to do anything in his position until 1945. Jump to 1946 and we get to see the Commonwealth elections take place. We had the Nationalist Party, with Asmenia running for president and Yogio Rodriguez running for vice president. On the other side, we have Rojas running for president and Elpidio Quirino for vice president, supporting a party known as the Liberal Party, with the Nationalistas being conservative and the Liberals fighting for individuals. Who will win? And because of the support of General MacArthur and Osmania saying that the Philippines' expectations from him is anything but positive, Rojas won by 54% of the vote. The crowd goes wild, but not too wild. The Philippines' economy is at an all-time low, and we are a few steps away to bankruptcy. Someone must fix this. And fix it, he shall. With loans gathered from the United States and of somewhat help from the United Nations through an international agency known as United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Program, he was able to established the Philippine Rehabilitation Finance Corporation, a program that would provide the country 12,000 houses and loans that amount to 177 million pesos, create the Central Bank of the Philippines, increase the production in the sugar industry, and proclaim the Rice Share Tenancy Act of 1933, a law that would solve problems regarding land ownership. Apart from solving domestic problems, there's also his activities regarding international relations, particularly the ones that correlate with the U.S. You see, in August of 1946, the Treaty of General Relations was passed on, a treaty that grants us our independence from the U.S., giving us the sovereignty that we had been asking for for many years. However, in addition to that, we also had to lend some of our lands to the United States so that they can make basis for mutual protection for both countries, and that they will be our representatives when representing our country to the world, not us. So, yeah, not really the independence that we have previously thought of. Another downside was the Parity Rights Amendment, which granted the U.S. the right to utilize our natural resources. However, since it was upvoted by the Filipinos, I guess it is alright with us? Of course, you can't have a Filipino president without their own share of controversies, and what do you know? It is grafting corruption! Oh boy, I can't believe that we are 11 presidents in since his assassination, and people still can't notice a pattern. Not to mention that there was also the time when he was not able to solve the hooks problem. Hooks, by the way, it's a group that was originally against the Japanese, but soon turned their heads toward the Philippine government. Ross died of a heart attack in April of 1948, shortly after delivering a speech to the United States, 13th Air Force. Wow. And imagine, what would happen if he actually completed his four-year term? You're sad, I am sad, and I now can't look at a hundred peso bill and think that people are profiting from a picture of a dead guy.